Hey, welcome everybody. What's going on today? Welcome to the Young Bronze Gaming Channel. What up, what up, what up? Well, today, guys, we're going to be covering this deck. Some gameplay that I did using this Ram Rider Pekka Deck on Ladder. You know, I had, uh, I've, I had been working on it for a while. I was waiting to max this card, the Ram Rider at last. I had, I think I got it two days ago or yesterday very similar to this deck but still yet different um 61 16 is the new season highest which i used that deck to do yesterday so we're gonna check out some replays right here we'll check out these three pekkas in a row that i faced with the barb hut he was minions um he was minions two pekka brit spams a golem with the barb hood, balloon rocket. So let's check out these battles. Just make sure the sound's off. Alright. I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna speed it up into four elixir for now. So, alright, so I started off with the Barbaro. Comes the Dark Prince. I go E Wiz. Yeah, good lightning, but I must respond with the Ram Rider. Ooh. Okay, look at how much elixir we're up still. We're up about four elixir. So, um, I believe I went Pekka in the opposite lane because I had a feeling we were up elixir. You know, I try my level best to count the elixir while I'm playing. You know, try to get as close as possible to guessing your opponent's elixir. Okay. The P.E.K.K.A. Baby Dragon. So, after dropping P.E.K.K.A. and Baby Dragon, I figured there's not enough elixir. Especially with the bar barrel being cycled. I put the Ram Rider at the bridge. Baby Dragon e -Wiz completely finish off the e -Wiz and the better Barbarian Barrel. And check out this play guys that is easy tower i mean it could even be a lot of damage on the on the king tower sure will be great thing is that we're still basically even on elixir right and there we go goblin hut so he was have to make sure Keep in mind, there's a lightning in the opponent cycle. That was a really nice lightning block using the P.E.K.K.A. And uh, I'm just going to use a P.E.K.K.A. myself right there to defend against the Dark Prince as well as the P.E.K.K.A. The Dark Prince got splash damage on the E-Wiz. Baby Dragon. I just do an E-Wiz blade. Don't want those spare goblins hitting the tower. And five seconds left to go, guys. It should be minor on the King Tower. Pro plays. Let's take a look at the Let's check out this. Next one is a classic Brit Spam deck. You know, usually I have this deck as well, but instead of the minions, I use Magic Archer because minions are not in the best place. Neither is Magic Archer, but I prefer still Magic Archer. That's just me. I feel comfortable playing with the Magic Archer. Here we go. Let's go into... Okay, Battle Ram. 
starts off the play from the opponent. I'm just gonna do E Wiz and Baby Dragon for the minions. It's kind of out of a uh, poison range. Go with the Battle Ram. We try to make a counter push with the Baby Dragon, Barbarian Barrel, and check out how much damage this play got. So early in the game, it's only even 30 seconds into the game. And we caught that tower down to 561. Cool. And I go with the bandit play for the ghost. And uh, if this is left unattended, that's a tower. Well, tower, man, tower uh, connection. Here the opponent starts off with the battle ram. Uh, that was a bad snowball on my part. I think I could have just done e -whiz rather than snowball. Try to defend that properly. You know what? ram rider maybe i needed to do baby dragon there because we went face on into the pekka with the ram rider that's not a good play here as you can tell i'm down a bit of elixir so um i've got to do pekka right there but at the same time check this out guys you see the opponent did that bandit at five elixir and I have two elixir. So if that bandit was done at three elixir for the opponent, right? That bandit would have gotten a lot of damage since the opponent decided to wait. I was able to get back my elixir and the bandit was able to stop uh, the dash of the bandit from hitting our tower. So sometimes you just have to know exactly when to go at the bridge of the bandit because it can make a difference that tower would have had like as much as hp that it has on the left side you see i was kind of i almost threw this game away how did we go from taking that tower down so nicely to losing our tower so easily here we're into we're gonna focus on the right lane Like a Ram Rider. Cool. Baby Dragon. And you'll see that the poison drops there. So I go with the bandit in the corner. Cycle of Barbarian Barrel. E was right there too to avoid the poison value. The snowball to get the bandit and at the tower. And this is a good play because with the help of the E Wiz, we're able to take down the P.E.K.K.A pretty nicely half health half health is going off that pekka um you know using baby dragon just to stop this play don't want to give the poison value so you can just wait it out go with the bandit here we go with the ram rider I was actually waiting for the lightning value, but it looks like the opponent had given up. Let's go into the next battle. It's another Pekka Brit spam deck. Let's speed it up until we go into the action. This is that from the opponent. I started with the rim rider at the bridge, got hit with the pecker. So that was basically a loss of five elixir. To go with the pecker. Bandit for the battle rim. It doesn't get the charge on the tower, so we're cool with that. I cycle bit barbaro to make sure that the bandit doesn't charge onto our tower. So that worked out. We're up one elixir as well. Gonna speed it up. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> I definitely leaked a little bit of elixir. Because the cycle was bad. Okay, so the poison drops. So we go with the Ram Rider and back to a P.E.K.K.A. Cool.
I go baby dragon there, go bandit for the battle ram, and just try to distract the P.E.K.K.A. just for a bit. I mean, it's gonna still get that hit, but both towers are even elixir. <clears throat> Both towers can't have elixir. Both towers are equal HP. Um, and the bandit charges on to hit the tower. Wow. 469 left on that tower. I think this was a game that we picked up very last second. Now I remember. Here comes the battle ram play. You know, I go with the baby dragon. Dropping e -whiz in the back here you see that the opponent does a poison I go pekka because i know the e-wiz will live from that poison i rush with the ram rider and we just try to get this play to the tower the pekka finishes off the e-wiz so nicely check this out guys 10 seconds left and we finish off that tower with 157 hp left on our right tower poison drops from the opponent is it enough Oof, one hp left on that right tower wow ggs well played let's check out the next one i don't know what that is but it has a barb hut firecracker golem lightning Okay, Golem starts off the game in the back. You know, I saw the fifth card was a P.E.K.K.A. So I just banned it in the left lane. And uh, P.E.K.K.A. in the back in the right lane. Cool, cool. Here comes the Night Witch. Yeah, I go a Baby Dragon. So trying to stop this golem, a firecracker, just do a barbarian barrel to get rid of that. I drop the e -whiz as well. Um, because of the bats being there. Here the opponent's actually pretty low on elixir. And uh, that just ended up being a tower. There was no good response from the opponent in that cycle so here i figured i can keep double lane pressure going and got the ram rider to connect to the tower the night which has weight well the night which has half health so don't really have to worry about that too heavily and i didn't want to make a move so i just cycled a snowball here you see that i wait for the bar put and I got the baby dragon to lock on to the bar, but I'm cool with that. Because I don't really want to deal with the goblins. You know, as long as I can get that building out, there's way less pressure. Hmm. Higher golem, higher pekka. This is actually a pretty bad pekka. You'll see in a moment. Pekka gets distracted by the night witch. It goes the wrong way. But then it does go back to the golem, which is what we wanted. Um, still 947 on that tower. That is not lightning range, guys. And uh, I kept applying that pressure in the other lane. So that way, you know, the golem doesn't drop from the opponent. And that's exactly what happened. The opponent was not able to drop that second golem to uh, to get that last damage. So that should be a good game. Let's check out the last battle, how that one worked out. A little bit of off meta, got the balloon rocket, minion horde rage.
comes a balloon skeleton barrel rage play i'm easily able to defend that with the eos bar barrel and the opponent has to respond to this with a counter push that is a lot of stuff i see i figured the eos has plenty of health the baby dragon is out of the cycle maybe we can get the ram rider through to the tower and that's exactly what happened i snowballed check this play out guys the valkyrie cannot get to the ram rider ram rider is doing tons of damage to the tower wow bringing it down to 459 that was insane amount of damage within the first minute of the game all i did was counter push go rush another lane with the bandit since the barbarians drop i don't think there's an elix elixir to support either side so we can easily defend both sides one with the e-wiz the other with the baby dragon barbaro <clears throat> here you see the e gets to the tower and finishes off with two hits speed it up a little bit i go with the ram rider i was actually expecting a balloon play and ram rider still connects on the tower the snowball we got the minion nord as well cool one minute left to go we just got to be able to defend this properly so i go with the bandit for the valkyrie that baby dragon for the skeleton barrel keep the bar barrel handy wait for that to drop and uh clean that up nicely you know i snowballed the balloon because it would have gotten a hit on our tower here again ram rider gets to the tower picking up chip damage and along the way it also gets rid of the uh, counter push that the opponent has so that's really good you know we set up the e ways here on the balloon again Wait for the skelly barrel, bar barrel of that. And back with another counter push with the ram rider. This time I got the snowball. Snowball. Oof. So much value with that snowball in that play. And we got that right tower down as well. So these were the five games that I wanted to share, guys. Um, I went on ladder with this deck as soon as I maxed it. And they helped me push up to my new season highest, 61-16. Got a five-game winning streak going. I'll be trying this deck out later on to see how it does on higher ladder. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to end this one here. Thanks for watching. Brawling out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if, you know, this video has helped you out. If you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next content. Brawling out. Peace, guys. Take care.